saddest part about all of this is is really the fact that nothing nothing since azealia banks has worked for you the big three was a flop your attempt at being i guess a civil rights attorney meanwhile you're robbing black women of all of her fucking royalties and all of her black collaborators and producers and people who put trust in her of six years worth of money you know you you're just like flopping at everything i don't know if it's a sign of early deterioration you know there was a long time where i was very scared like very fucking scared like holy shit like you know this nigga's friends with steve bannon someone's gonna and jump through the fucking window and like suffocate me in my sleep but i really just think you are like you you're you you haven't been taking your flintstone kids you can say i'm crazy you can say this you can say whatever you want to say it doesn't change the fact that you owe me and a lot of other people money so go ahead you know go ahead let's hope that like whatever mental illness shaming you're going to try and do in court let's 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 hope that the judge will fall for some statistic bullshit knowing you have like you definitely don't have a clean hollywood history you know like we can go online and see and read all the stories about all of your dirt so let's let's see if that holds up um the jig is fucking up the jig is up and the party ends here and honestly, the biggest part about all of this is the fact that you have not made any sort of cultural stride. You have not had any sort of genius business ideas. Like, not a single thing you've done has worked. Like, you are really fucking played out. And I'm in my prime. Like, I'm, I'm in my prime. I look better than I did when... When we were working together, and it's really too much of a treat for you to keep your name attached to mine. I've worked too hard to have you riding my coattails. You are a white man in America. If you cannot make that privilege work for you without having to attach yourself to a quote-unquote crazy commercial failure of a black female artist, then what does that say about you? If you really are this big, bad, almighty white man. What the, f the fuck do you want to be attached to my black ass for? Honestly. If you are so, quote unquote, one of the most important people in Hollywood, like, pfft, I can't remember the last time anyone gave a fuck about the firm or the big three or anything. If you really are that guy, then what the fuck do you need with me? What do you need with me? This is, this is like, it's sociopathy. It's really some fucking sociopathy. And I, I just, I'm, I'm getting too old for this shit. I'm, I'm not going into my 40s with you on my back like that. You gotta get off now. Furthermore, if you really are that fucking guy, you would see that there for for the past for the past six years there has been a an extremely high cultural demand for broke with expensive taste vinyls and videos and all sorts of shit. If you're really this professional guy, you know we could have like worked remotely. There's there's lots of like the the ten year anniversary of two and two just passed, and you didn't think about cashing out on that. Like wow. <laughs> What kind of white man are you? Is my white dick bigger than yours? Like, do I understand capitalism more than you? Damn, are you so in love and are your feelings just like, your feelings just like, like you, you, damn. You don't like money? You don't like money, huh? Could never be me.
hope there is an equal amount of fanfare around trying to figure out what has been wrong with Gilbert Grape, aka Azealia Banks, all of these years. Just as, you know, just as interested in the public is in just demonizing me for, you know, what, whatever, whatever I may or may not be going through without actually ever giving me a chance to explain myself or, you know, just really having no fucking clue what is actually happening in my life and what's fucking going on. And yeah, you know, how, how that kind of constant stress, that daily kind of, daily kind of fear of shit, I'm turn the wrong corner and someone might slice my fucking neck can really um can can really really affect the way someone behaves there's a lot of things that you guys don't know about me a lot of things that i have been through a lot of things that you don't care to know about don't care to ask but just in this time while you guys are probably still obsessed with cat soup and whatever fucking other like pathetic shit you can bring up from my youth to make yourself feel a little less shitty about the lack of things you've accomplished in your life. I really hope you take a step back and, you know, realize shit is really fucking real. And I'm dealing with a lot of other things. A lot of other things and working very fucking hard to keep my shit together. Really, I really hope you guys through throughout this whole thing can get some insight. Insight and really understand what the fuck has been going on. How these kinds of, you know, like how, how fear, theft racism, misogyny can all compound to turn someone into a fucking erratic mess. Yeah, that same uh, sympathy that you guys have for everyone else. If you're not going to, ex- if you're not going to at least try to understand, I don't need your sympathy. If you're not going to at least try to understand, then just please don't talk about mental health. Don't talk about medication. Don't talk about shit because you don't know what it's like to walk in my shoes.